Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square and to a stitch tutorial for the diamond shell stitch. So I received an email from Samantha Jefferson asking if I would please teach the diamond shell stitch. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I ran up to the studio to film this quickly. So I'm going to go right over to the table. We'll do it together. Grab a hook, grab some yarn, and let's get started. Okay, so to do the diamond shell stitch, I'm just going to use some scrap yarn I have. It's a white worsted weight and a size five millimeter hook. You can grab anything you like. Okay, so to begin the diamond shell stitch, you need a multiple of 10 plus two chains, but you can't do the pattern with less than 22 chains. So a lot of times you'll see people say a multiple of 10 plus 12. That keeps the minimum to 22. I'm gonna do 32 chains here so that you can see a little bit of the pattern. Okay, so I'll start with my slip knot and then my fingers are not working. <laughs> and then I will chain 32. Okay, so that's 32. Now the first thing we're going to do is in the second chain from the hook, we're going to put a single crochet and a single crochet in the next chain as well. So we're starting the row with two single crochets and we will end the row with two single crochets. Whatever we do in the beginning, we'll do at the end, you'll see. Next, we skip three chains and we're gonna put a shell stitch in the fourth chain. The shell stitch for the purpose of this pattern is two double crochets, three chains, two double crochets, all in one space. So I'm gonna get two double crochets And I'm doing it all in the same chain space. So that's my second double crochet. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And then two more double crochets in that same space. Okay, so there we have a beautiful little shell. Then we're going to skip three chains, one, two, three, and in the fourth chain, we're gonna put a single crochet, and we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna skip the next chain, and we'll put a single crochet in the next chain. Okay, so that part, that whole beginning part, your shell, and this little single crochet, chain one, single crochet, that's what will be repeated across your row. So we're gonna skip three chains. We're gonna put our shell, that is two double crochets. Chain three. And two double crochets all into that same space there. Okay, then we're going to skip three chains. In the fourth chain, we're going to put a single crochet. We're going to chain one, skip a chain, and put a single crochet in the next chain. Okay, then we're going to skip three chains, and we're going to put a shell. Again, two double crochets, three chains, and two double crochets. Okay. Then we skip three chains, one, two, three. And in this chain, since we're at the end, Remember, we had two single crochets in the beginning. We're gonna have one single crochet here and one single crochet in the next space, okay? So that is your first row of your pattern. 
Now for row two, we're going to chain two and turn our work. And we're going to put a half double crochet right into this first space here, right where the chain came out of. So your chain two and your half double crochet are the equivalent of two half double crochets. So you know that at the end, we're going to have two half double crochets. Okay, now we're going to chain three. And we're going to single crochet into this chain three space here. Then we're going to chain three again. Now in this space that we made with the single crochet, chain one, single crochet, we're going to make a V stitch and it's a half double crochet V stitch. So what we're going to do is a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into that space. So half double crochet. Gonna pull through all three there. <laughs> chain one and then another half double crochet in that same space. Just like that. And we have a V stitch there. Okay. So that is what you're going to be repeating across. So now we're going to chain three again. We're going to put a single crochet into the chain three space at the top of our shell. Then we're going to chain three again. Then we're going to make that V stitch in this space between the two single crochets here. So we're going to do a half double crochet. And if you don't know a half double crochet, yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three. This is a little hard on this one here. There we go. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to do another half double crochet into that space. There we go. Okay, then we're going to chain three. Oops. And we're going to do a single crochet in the top of our shell in that chain three space. Then we're going to chain three. And now instead of doing our V stitch, because we're coming to the end here and we don't have the single crochet, chain space, single crochet. We're going to do two half double crochets in the last single crochet. Make sure to get under both of those loops there. There we go. There's one. And then one more. So we ended in two half double crochets, just like we started with two. Okay, so that is row two. Now for row three, we're going to chain four and turn our work and we're going to do two double crochet. Now this chain four is going to count as a double crochet and a chain one and you'll see why. Now we're going to do two more double crochets in that same space. Okay, so what you have here basically is a double crochet, a chain space, and two double crochets, which is about half of a shell plus the edge. And that's what we're doing on the sides. So we're going to end that same way. You'll have two double crochets, a chain space, and a double crochet at the end. Okay, now we're going to single crochet into the chain three space. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to skip the single crochet that we did in the last three chain in the last chain three space last time we were there. We're going to skip that and we're going to single crochet into this chain three space. Just like that. Then where you have your V stitch, we're going to put a shell stitch. So we're going to do two double crochets. chain three 
one, two, three, and then two more double crochets all in that space in that V stitch. And you'll see your shells and V stitches will be building on each other as you go. Okay, so there we go. We have the V stitch with the shell sitting on top of it. Okay. Then we're just going to repeat that across. We're going to single crochet into our chain three space. Now, remember I said at the end here, this is like a half a shell. It really is. So we finish this shell and we're continuing the same thing. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I'm trying to get you to see the pattern that's happening here. So we're single crocheting into the chain three space. We're going to chain one and skip that single crochet we did in the last row. And we're going to single crochet into the next chain space. Then in our V, in our space in our V, we're going to do another shell. So we're going to do two double crochets. Chain three. And two more double crochets in that same space. Okay, and we just continue. Now we'll do a single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain one, a single crochet into the next chain three space. And now instead of doing a shell, now that we're in the end, remember we had a half shell in the beginning, we're going to have a half shell at the end. So what you're going to do is two double crochets, chain one and a double crochet in the top of your beginning two chain. So we have one, two, there's the top of my two chain. I'm gonna do two double crochets. One, two, chain one, and then another double crochet. Okay, so now you have that half a shell at the end and the half a shell at the beginning. See how pretty that's looking? So just remember, everything you do at the beginning, you're going to do at the end. And then in between is where you're going to repeat. So for row four, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to single crochet in the first double crochet. And then we're going to chain three. Then in the chain one space that we made before, so if you remember before, we made the single crochet into this chain three space and a single crochet into this chain three space, there's a chain one space right there. So we are going to make a V stitch into that chain one space. So we're gonna do the half double crochet, going through all three here, chain one and half double crochet. Okay, then we're going to chain three and single crochet in the chain three space of the shell right here. Okay, then chain three then into this chain one space again, which is between your shells. You should see it basically in the middle there. That should make it easier for you to find it. We're gonna do another V stitch. So we're gonna do a half double crochet, chain one, and another half double crochet into that. Okay, then we're gonna chain three. Now we're just repeating the pattern. And we're going to put a single crochet into the top of our into the chain three space of our shell stitch. Then we're going to chain three and come down and do the V stitch right into that chain one space that it's between the full shell and the half shell. We're getting to the end, but we're still going to put the V stitch there. Chain one and another half double crochet. 
Okay, that's our V-stitch. Then we're going to chain three. Now, if you remember the beginning, we had a single crochet in the first double crochet. So we're going to end with a single crochet in the top of our chain four space. One, two, three, four. We're just going to put a single crochet there. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so for row five now, which is the last row of our repeat, the repeat is going to be a repeat of rows two through five. For row five, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and single crochet in that first stitch right there. Then we're going to single crochet into this chain three space right here. Then we're going to put a shell above the V-stitch here. Remember I said the shells and V-stitches will build on each other. So that's what we're doing. You always have a shell, a chain one space that a V-stitch goes into, and then a shell on top of it. So we're going to put a shell here, which is two double crochets. Three chains and two double crochets. There we go. And the last double crochet. Then we're going to single crochet into the next chain three space. And you're going to chain one and skip and single crochet into this chain three space. And then just like before, you have your V stitch here, we're gonna put another shell stitch here. It's two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, Then we're going to put a single crochet into our chain three space, chain one, and a single crochet into the next chain three space. Here we have another V, so we put another shell on top of that. So that's two double crochets. three chains and two double crochets. And a single crochet in the last single crochet here. Okay, and that is your pattern. It's beautiful, isn't it? Then you would just begin again with row two. So you would chain two, turn your work, and continue. Half double crochet in your first stitch here. You have two half double crochets in the beginning, and so on. And just keep going, repeating rows two through five over and over until you're done. And you'll have this beautiful diamond shell pattern. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. The diamond shell stitch is great for so many things, for blankets, for scarves. It's a really beautiful stitch. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.